Hello students, welcome to this channel. In this video, we'll be studying about software, types of software that we discussed in the previous lecture. There were three main types of software, the system software, the programming tools and the application software. So in this video, we'll be studying in detail about the system software. So what are system software? System softwares are the softwares that provide basic functionality to a computer. So what do we mean by that? These are the softwares that form the soul of a computer system without which a computer will not be able to operate. Okay. These softwares allow other hardware and other software, okay, additional softwares to provide their functionality. So what are these softwares? What are some examples of system software? the very common and the most important system software is the operating system so operating system like the windows the linux the ubuntu these operating systems are uh, the softwares that start up a computer you know if you do not have a o an os installed in your system then your system will not perform any function all right, then uh, you'll not be able to make use of any other software. You'll not be able to perform functionalities of any other hardware also. So the most common example of a system software is the operating system. Apart from the operating system, two other important examples of system software include system utilities and device drivers. Okay, so we will be studying all these three in detail today all right so uh, i hope you have understood what is a system software now coming to the first important type the operating system as i told this is the uh, heart of a computer it will start up the computer it will allow other application programs to work it will allow different hardwares to connect with the uh, computer system and provide functionality and you all know different examples of operating systems fedora ubuntu android windows linux and so on all right now the second type of system software is the system utilities now as the name suggests system utilities basically are responsible for maintaining the uh, the computer system they allow the computer system to work properly in a configuration that is best for the system okay so now there are two types of system utilities the utilities that come pre-installed with the operating system or the utilities that are that do not come in uh, with the operating system but they have to be installed externally or apart from the pre-installed uh, system utilities okay so now anything that is any software that is helping the computer system to work more efficiently is known as a system utility it uh, it boosts the performance of the computer system now what are the examples the system utilities which are generally shipped along with an operating system include uh, formatting tools or system restore utility or defragmentation tool now uh, i'll explain one of you one of uh, these tools to you the defragmentation tool is basically uh, see for understanding what is a defragmentation tool you first need to understand what is fragmentation so as we have studied the computer memory uh, is made up of different locations okay uh, consist each location has a particular memory address so now the memory is divided into fragments or chunks and there are times when these fragments need to be uh, uh, brought together or the fragment defragmentation the opposite of fragmentation that means fragmentation means dividing up the memory and defragmentation means collecting up these chunks so that so as to make larger spaces in the memory so uh, such tasks have to be performed to boost the performance of the computer system uh, as a whole okay sometimes you need to format the system sometimes you need to restore the system to a particular version or you need to uh, maintain its backup so things like uh, that things or softwares that perform such functionalities which maintain the configurations and maintain the performance boost the performance and allow the computer to function at its best are referred to as system utilities now some utilities which are not generally shipped with the 
uh, operating system include antivirus software, the disk cleaners that free up your space in the memory and disk compression software and so on. The third and the last type of system software which is again very important is device drivers. Now see there are different kinds of devices as we studied there are input devices output devices and all these are hardware devices so in the previous lecture also we studied that a hardware device cannot operate in itself it needs a software to operate okay and there since different the kinds of devices that we attach to the computer system are different they have different characteristics they have different configuration their functionalities are different and each of these devices must be configured or uh, set up in a different way now adding all these functionalities to the operating system is a cumbersome task that means you cannot add uh, the, the configuration you cannot make an operating system so generic that it will be able to attach or it will be able to connect to and set up all different kinds of devices so we have different and specific device drivers for each specific hardware device now what do the device drivers do they allow, they act as an interface the uh, connecting layer between the operating system and a particular hardware device now when a hardware device has to be set up uh, with and attached with this uh, with the computer then these device drivers basically set up this hardware device they allow it to communicate with the operating system see operating system is the software that enables any other software or hardware to perform its functionalities so once the device driver is able to communicate the with the hardware and the so operating system this functionality that is provided by the hardware are able to be uh, conveyed to the users okay so device drivers basically help in the proper functioning of a particular device without these device drivers any hardware cannot communicate with any operating system and its functionalities can also not be provided by to the end users okay so uh, these were the three types of software this is the, the the three types of system software so as we studied uh, the, uh, here is the user here is the user interface this interface can be any input device that is allowing the user to give instructions or perform operations uh, use uh, and uh, give some commands to the computer okay so this these commands can be applied through or to an application software or through programming tools these two will be studying in the next lecture and now these are system software so if you have any hardware that is connected to your uh, computer suppose you have a printer for printer you need to attach a driver that will communicate with the printer that will allow it to set up and get installed and connect with the computer and then when a user gives any print command it will allow the printer to perform uh, its functioning correctly similarly if you have certain speakers then you need to have device drivers audio drivers okay uh, and similarly display drivers so there are different drivers if for in different hardware devices okay now the system the operating system and the hardware interact through the device drivers and the system utilities basically allow in the efficient functioning or by uh, they allow the computer system to function at its best and provide the best performance so this diagram is also a little important because it shows how different kinds of system software are uh, connected they are interacting with the hardware and the user interface and the placement of application and programming tools also okay so please remember this uh, diagram categorization of software so this from this lecture i have prepared you the important notes because no, some of you requested me to provide the notes of this uh, of each lecture in a very crisp form so that you can uh, noted down prepare your own notes from these by completing the sentences so the important points are you can pause the video and uh, jot down these points what is a system software the system software is the software that allows other uh, softwares and hardwares to run it is the soul of a computer 
okay it allows the computer to perform its basic functions now the three types of the three main types of system software the operating system also known as the os the dri device drivers and the system utilities i told you about the os it is the software that manages every other software and hardware directly or indirectly indirectly means either through device drivers it is handling some other hardware okay so device drivers are the interface between any hardware and the os and why they are needed because different devices have different requirements so we create specific drivers for each of the uh, hardware device that needs to be connected to the uh, system now lastly what are system utilities system utilities are the softwares that maintain and configure and keep the computer running at its best so that's all for today's lecture i hope you understood this video in case you have any doubts please do not hesitate in mentioning them in the comment section below we'll definitely try to answer all of them and if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you also get the notifications of the videos that we upload in future so till we need meet in the next video see ya and mind your exam